What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net, and as you can see, we are inside of Windows DNS server, and this is Windows 2003, and this is taken off from the DNS videos that or lessons that I had done previously. This right here is basically for our web hosting people out there. This is not for running your internal DNS with a domain controller. This cannot be done on a DC machine. So if you got a DC machine, which is domain controller, this cannot be done. So you would need to have another server with DNS installed in order to do what I'm getting ready to show you. Now you can go on to several websites to test your DNS. And if you test your DNS, like the way we've got this right now, let's just pretend for a moment that these 192.168.2.9s are our actual IP addresses for our external. If you was to go on and test this right now on one of the DNS test sites, then it's going to pick up on our local uh, computer name and our local domain. And this right here is going to give errors. It's going to cause some issues if you got more than one domain that's feeding off from the same IP address, which is basically how we've got this. Let's go ahead and get into it. What we're going to do is that we're going to make this to where this will run externally. Okay, so the SOA, which is the start of authority. Remove this and we want to do ns1.mydomain.com. Now this NS1 right here, you need to have a static IP. You get a static IP from your ISP, go on to your registrar, and then you have your registrar assign an NS1 record to your static IP, which is pointing to your server. Basically what we've got here is that we've got this ns1mydomain.com right here. This is pointing to a 192.168.2.1. But the external one, I've got an ns1 and an ns2. So now let's come down here to here and we're going to change this to admin mydomain.com. Okay, and everything else is going to stay the same. Come over here and click on apply and then click on OK. So that is going to change this right here to where it is now looking at this NS record and it's looking at the admin at mydomain.com. The at is replaced with a dot. Also, this right here is no longer needed. And then we choose it from the list and choose to remove. Click apply and then click OK. And it's automatically going to remove that because it is not needed anymore because we are no longer for this this is our outside domain this is not an inside domain this is an outside in the world to where the world can see it domain and after we've made all of our changes we want to come over here to our domain inside of our list tree right click and choose update server data files and this right here will update all of our data files and then whenever we go on onto a DNS website to check our DNS, it will pick up on the new information instead of the old information. So Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net inside of Windows DNS server. This is for our web hosting people only. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.